This is a touchscreen Spotify music player powered by Raspberry Pi's new Pico 2 chip. It shows the cover art, name, and artist of the song I'm currently listening to and lets me control playback directly from the screen. In this video, I'll walk you through how I built and programmed this cool display and how you can do it yourself. The main component of this project is the new Pimeroni Presto, which has a 4-inch touchscreen display with a 480x480 resolution. It's powered by the new Raspberry Pi RP2350 chip and has a sleek black aluminum stand. The Presto comes fully assembled, so there's no soldering required. In the back, it features a USB-C connector for power, a micro SD card slot, and 7 LEDs for ambient lighting. Even though we won't be using them in this project, the Presto also comes with a battery connector, a quick Stemma QT connector for additional accessories like sensors, and a built-in piezo speaker. Along with the Presto, we'll need a USB-C cable to power the display. I'm using this right angle cable from Amazon so it stays stuck neatly to the side instead of sticking out. You can find the links to both the Pimeroni Presto and the USB-C cable in the description below. If you want to build this project yourself, these components will cost around $100 in total. To get started, we'll first install the Thony IDE. Thony is a great Python IDE for beginners, which we'll use to connect to the Presto and upload our code. After that, we'll need to flash the Presto with the latest firmware from Primaroni. Head over to the Presto GitHub page and download the most recent .uf2 binary file. Now connect the Presto to your computer with the USB-C cable. Then put the Presto into bootloader mode by holding down the boot button while tapping reset. A new drive should appear on your computer which will drag and drop the .uf2 file into. Once the firmware is flashed, it's time to set up a Spotify developer app to be able to authenticate with a Spotify API and make requests. Keep in mind that a Spotify premium subscription is required in order to control playback. In the Spotify for Developers dashboard, we'll create a new app and give it a name and description. For the redirect URI, we'll give it this localhost redirect URI. Be sure to check the box for the web API and save the app. Once the Spotify app is created, copy the client ID, client secret, and the redirect URI, which we'll use in the next step. Next, open up your terminal and clone the GitHub repository for this project. Then, navigate into the root folder and run this helper script which will generate Spotify credentials for the Presto. The script will prompt us for the client ID, secret, and redirect URI which you can copy from your Spotify app. It will then output a URL which you'll need to navigate to in your browser. Here, you'll need to approve access to your Spotify account and it will redirect us to another URL. Copy this URL and paste it back into the terminal. And finally, the script will then ask for a default Spotify device, which the Presto will use when there are no active devices playing. Choose one of your devices and the script will output your Spotify credentials, which we'll copy for the next step. We're now ready to upload the project code to the Presto. Open up Thony and set the interpreter to MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Then, in the Files window, locate the project directory on your computer. Here, expand the source folder, select all the contents, and click Upload to Root to copy all the files to the Presto. Once it's done uploading, open up the secrets.py file and replace the placeholder values with your Wi-Fi credentials. At the bottom of the file, paste the Spotify credentials line we copied from the terminal. We're now ready to run the project. Open up main.py and click run to launch the script. If everything's set up correctly, you should see logging messages in the console and the Presto should start displaying cover art from your Spotify account. Now, a quick demo of how it works. By default, the Presto displays the album cover art of the currently playing song. If nothing is actively playing, it falls back to the most recently played track instead. It periodically pulls the Spotify API to check for changes and updates the display. Tapping on the screen brings up the control layer, which is similar to what you'd find in the Spotify app. 
From here, I can pause, play, skip tracks, and even toggle shuffle and repeat modes. Tapping the screen again hides the controls and returns to just a cover art view. The LEDs on the back of the Presto automatically change colors based on the cover art, adding a nice ambient effect. You can toggle them on and off based on your preferences. There's also an exit button that closes the app and if I want to restart it, I can just press the reset button on the back of the Presto. There were a few small challenges I ran into during development. Because the device is making frequent API calls, quick taps on the screen can sometimes be missed, so I usually press instead of tapping lightly. Another issue is that the graphics library currently doesn't support non-ASCII characters and text, so I'm stripping those out of the track and artist names for now, which isn't ideal especially for international songs and artists. The entire project is open source and you can find the GitHub repo linked in the description below. If you're interested in contributing or have ideas for improvements, feel free to check it out or leave a comment down below. Overall, I'm really happy with how this project came together. It was my first time working with the Raspberry Pi Pico and a touchscreen display and I learned a lot. The Presto makes a great desk companion and I think there's a lot of potential for other fun projects with the setup. And a huge thanks to my latest supporters on Patreon and GitHub sponsors. If you'd like to support the ongoing development of open source projects and videos like this one, consider joining over there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.